Hi everyone, I am Risk MC PC. <coughs> Sorry to sidebar. In today's video, we will be building Harry's Hut because Diamond never showed how to build this. And I was going to be building Farm Factory um, in this video, but I realized that he never built Harry's Hut. So I'm going to be showing you how to build that. Now, first things first, we need to move the dog house door. So, in your world, if you're just following by Diamond, you should have this line. This line points towards the doghouse, which is correct, and I just, yeah, I didn't follow up because I moved it over. Don't worry about that. And this is where uh, Squid's house would be. Yes, you want to get rid of Squid's house. So if you, uh, also, for preparation of the farm factory, you want to just make this a wall and get rid of Squid's house, basically. And you can keep this if you want, because this isn't really anymore because it's covered up by terrain. Also you should have this terrain near Mitten's house. And it should look like this, so I'll just So you have the block here, water blo water room, you have the block, dirt and the dirt above. You should have this all done. No, I might move on to that later. But you can see here we have this dog house and we want to move it. So from here we want to move it to the right two blocks. So we'll do that. Right, then we can get rid of this, get rid of this. Then we can add our slabs, add our stairs, and add our other stairs, add our planks, replace this with grass, replace this with dirt, and you should have something like this now. So you can see there is two blocks. And then the wall where Squid's house would be. So from the dog house, I want to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then that's where the door should be. So it should line up with this um, bench right here. Okay. So you also want to place a torch right here. That was already in the easy start. And I forgot to get rid of it. But yeah, so let's start building Harry's hut. Uh, let's see what you will need. Well, first of all, you will need poppies. Yes, I'm building in a plastic text track. It's hard to do. <laughs> um, then you will need oak logs. Where's the oak logs? It's over here somewhere. Oak logs, oak planks, uh, fence, fences, fence. Gate. It's hard to do it on this carpet. Torch. Then you want oak stairs and cobblestone stairs. Then we're going to get a crafting table. That should be it for now. No, I think that's all. You only need nine arms. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to go to this on um, the left of this new doggy house. Then, so you want to skip this block, and then over here, you want to place one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should be three blocks out from the doggy door. Doggy door, yeah, doggy door. You want to place one to the left of that. Then you want to skip three. Then, you want to place two poppies, and then one, two, three, four, five, so that's a total of six. And you can see, it should line up with this wall, which is exactly how it is in his world. It's by him, I mean, stamp. Okay. So in the corners, what you want to do is you want to place uh, three logs, like so. So you should have a basically like three block, three block, three block, three block. Okay, so then on these sides, which are out to the open, you want to place oak planks, then fences, then some more oak planks. Then on this row, which has the back, cover up the blue, cover, 
cover up the blue wool by adding oak planks like so. Then, on this f on the floor, we want to replace this with crafting tables. Whoops. Like so. Then you want to place fence gates on top of those crafting tables. So you can see this is where Harry stays. And you want to place oak planks on top of that with torches right there in the middle, basically, on each side. Okay, then on. Let me just look inside my phone world. Okay, so on these sides, which are the sides, you want to add torches on the middle as well. Okay, so now we can get started with the roof. So, on the corners, we want to place oak stairs, like so. And in the middle, you also want to place oak stairs. Then, on these gaps, we want to place cobblestone stairs, like so. Okay, so now that we have that, what we want to do is we want to go up one with the oak stairs and place oak, cobble, oak, cobble, oak, cobble, oak, and cobble. Okay. To finish this off, you want to place an oak, oak plank right there, with a torch on top. So that is Harry's hut. Now, because I don't want to do this in the farm factory video, um, because it's only been 7 minutes, I'm going to show you to prepare for the farm factory that we're going to do in the next video, which for me will be in like 10 minutes. I don't know. So we want to get grass. And from here, you should already have this. You want to place one, two, three, four, five, six. So you should have five from this oak plank sort of thing. Then you want to go in one and build all the way to the poppy plus one extra. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to do one up here. Up one, down one, up one, up one, same level, down one, same level. So you should have that. Now, I'm just gonna fill in this. Oh, you also want to get rid of the animal farm, by the way. So then, what we want to do is we want to get our spruce and birch uh, planks and so we see here we have dandelions that go all the way across we want to leave five we want to leave five there and we want to place then we want to skip two this will be the path leading up to and I'll keep getting calls So then what we want to do is we want So then we want to play spruce birch Okay, he doesn't have the farm factory, but whatever. So then we just want to keep on alternating Spruce and Birch all the way up to there. So we want to leave this one block gap and we want to place up recording, please. Sorry about that. Then after we've done that, what we want to do is we want to get our spruce and birch stairs. We want to place this birch there on the left, I mean right, and spruce stair on the left. Okay, so then we want to place grass in front of this stair, 
and then grass in front of these um planks right here. From here, you should have like four, five, six here. You want to skip two, and then go one right. Then, you see we have this right here. We want to skip this one and place one, two, three. Then we want to place one right here, which will keep our terrain nice and good. I'll probably build this terrain in another video. Okay, so then what you want to do next is you want to. Oh wow. I'm just counting how much I need to go out. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go a total of 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, 36 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. I think if I'm correct, that should line up with one block. If we just, we can build this across now. That goes, what? Um, I don't know, because, wait, mm, okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and then that's grass, okay. So this grass should line up with this block of apple right here. And it should, the rock, I mean, should line up with the one block to the left of the pillar. Now that's good. Okay. So we just want to make this uh, path two blocks across. So then after we've done that, we can place grass across here. You should already have this old terrain. Then we want to get rid of two blocks here. And then we just want to build across all the way down like so. So, if you watch the airport uh, video, you should know that this should line up with this block. These two blocks, which is very, very good. So now, here is to prove that our paths line up. Just like so. So now we can just build our path. And then our spruce planks like so. Like so. So now that we have that, what we want to do is, hmm, just got to see how we want to do the terrain. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. So what we want to do is, from here, we basically want to go down, 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 down until it's touching the water, basically. And we want to go all the way up to this stair. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Hello, Jack Owen. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going I'm going to show you how to do this terrain. Okay, so I'm going to go pretty much column, uh, column by column, basically, because it makes it easier for me. From here, we want to leave two out, then two more out. Then we want to go one below like this. Then we want to go two out and just place this block here. For the next block, I want to go two out, then two out, then one here, and one here. The third block, two out, two out, and so we basically just want to double that row. Then for the fourth block, this is more different. Two out, but then we want one, then we want two, and then this can go down, and then we place a block right there. Okay, so then for the fifth block, we want to place two, then one, then another one right here. Then, one right there, and one right here. Okay. For the sixth block, we want to go out another one. Then we want two blocks going down. We want two blocks going across, and then one like that. Three more blocks to go. For the seventh block, we want to keep this one, and then we want to place two across like that. Then we want to go one down, then place one across here, and then we want to place two. Right, it's the last bit. So, this eighth block, I want to leave this one. Whoops. Place block there. Then we want to place two blocks going out like this, and two blocks out. So that's it. Then, from here, we want to place a block out here, block here, then two blocks there, then one across like that. This should be like that. So that is pretty much that little snippet of terrain. And here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically just... I'm going to fill this in. Oh, fill command has changed, I remember. We can just do this.
There we go. Snake it here, we've done that. Let's just do this bottom part. So now I'm going to be showing you how to do this part. And this will take around about 10 minutes, which is good because usually each tutorial goes for half an hour. So, what we want from here is I'm just going to go row by row for the two rows and then going to go level by level if it makes sense. We want to skip this block. Place one, two, three, three, two, three, three, three. Then two, one, two. And then four threes. That should get us to the edge. For the next one, I want to skip these first two blocks. Then we'll place one, two, two, one, two, one, one, zero, one, 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 two, three. Alright, so now that we have that, let's go on to the next row. So we want to skip these first four, then we want to place one, two, three, four, like that. Then we want to skip these next four, and then place one, two, three, four. So now I can see that we have that. I'm going to be doing level by level, basically like this, and then like this, and then like this. Basically, that's how I'm going to be doing it, just like Dharma did, because he's my inspiration. Okay. One. Four. Five. Three, three, two, eight, then one. That should line up with this block of nether wall, and that is correct. Alright, by the way, with these water fountains, you just want to place block here and a fence there. So you can see that goes there, that goes out to there, this goes out to there, this goes out to there, this goes out to here. For the next row, we want to start back up at the front. So we want to go up to this fourth block here. Then we want to place. I'm going to do columns now. Makes sense. Two, three, three, two, one, one. Skip that block. And place two, and then three, then three with one in front of it. Three with one in front of it. Three, and then. Two, one, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, then three with one in front of it, three with one in front of it, and three, two, two. That should leave us two blocks. So that is that terrain complete. Um, in the next video. Um, I'm either going to do this terrain, or the farm factory, or the new animal pen. I've got to think about that for like 10 minutes or so, before I record the next video. So until next time, this is Resident of CPC, 
and I will see all of you guys later. Goodbye. Now I'm just flying over. Here is a sight to rain. Here is mittens to rain back again. Here is Harry's hood. And now we are going to end off the video here. So goodbye.